want to develop touch around the rim, the go-to drill for anyone is the mic and drill. Okay, we have the lane, the paint, the key. It's called the key for a reason. Back in the 50s, George Mikan, about 6'10", first dominant big player. He used to just park himself right here, catch the ball, 28 a game. They had to change the rules because he was so dominant. Made it from six feet to 12. When it was six feet, the lane was right around here. It would go up to the circle, look like a little key, a little keyhole. That's why they call it the key. So this is the mic and drill. So we have steps. Steps is gonna display it for us. So the first thing he's gonna do, thanks to the lovely NBA court right here, we have a starting point. He's gonna start right on the restricted area here with his head facing the rim. And we're gonna go back and forth. When he steps to the right side, left foot is gonna plant, okay? And the right knee and right arm with the ball go up. Right knee, right arm go up, okay? Up, high off the glass, get the ball out of the rim, step with that right foot, same thing on the other side, okay? Left knee goes up, left arm goes up. Back and forth, grab the ball out of the net. Don't let it hit the floor. All right, let's see it. There you go. Good. Out of the rim. Good. Back and forth. Good. Use that backboard every time. There you go. One, two. Okay, stop. So when they created the backboard, whoever it was that did that, they did us all a favor. They put the box right there. So when you're going in for a layup, whether it's a mic and drill or just in a game, you want to always finish right off that top corner. Right off that top corner. So when I'm doing the mic and drill, that's where I'm putting the ball, top corner of the box. It's going to give it a good angle where the ball is going to go right into the rim. It's another advantage. If you get fouled and you're used to finishing high, high off that glass, the ball still goes in. If you always finish low off the box, and now you get fouled, you're going to end up short, you're going to miss. Instead of going to the line for three, you're going to the line for two. All right? As you get tired, it heads towards the fourth quarter of the game, second half of the game. You're naturally going to be lower on the backboard. If you're always aiming for high off the glass, as you get tired, you'll still have enough legs to finish. If you're always shooting low and you get tired, you're going to pull up short. So be it the mic and drill or be it anything else, finish high. Use that backboard, top corner of the box every time.